What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost and as the Sheriff's Office and the District Attorney laid out so much of what went down that tragic day on the set of Rust where Alec Baldwin shot and killed Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer, and also injured the director Joel Souza. People are seeing this information and they're starting to assign blame. Say, we think we have a good idea of what happened. This is who I blame the most for it. Whether it's Alec Baldwin, the assistant director, or of course, the armorer herself. Alec Baldwin, we saw tweeting out articles taking all the blame off him and putting it squarely on the shoulders of the armorer and of the assistant director. Well, now the armorer has broken her silence, at least through statements from her lawyers, and she is not going to sit there while everyone blames her. She is coming out and saying that it's the producer's fault, of which Alec Baldwin is absolutely one of them, while also making this statement, she has no idea where the live rounds came from. And we're going to go through her statement. We're going to look and see if this makes any sense. Rust Armour breaks silence on Alec Baldwin's shooting incident, blames producers for unsafe conditions. And I have been adamant throughout this entire thing there is so much blame to go around. There is a ton of blame that should be shared among a lot of different people. The armorer for letting it get to this place. The assistant director for not checking it properly. And of course, Alec Baldwin was the one who was holding this gun when he shot Helena Hutchins. And, doubly so, he's the producer for this. So he's the one in charge of hiring and firing people. Of maintaining safe working conditions and work practices. It is bad news for a lot of people and a ton of blame to go around. But let's look at what she has said now speaking out, trying to shift blame away from her. And it seems like squarely on the shoulders of potentially Alec Baldwin himself. Hannah Gutierrez Reed said she pushed for safety meetings on the Alec Baldwin produced film, but was denied. Hannah Gutierrez Reed spoke out to deny certain rumors about the onset shooting involving Alec Baldwin that left cinematographer Helena Hutchins dead. Gutierrez Reed, the armorer on the set of Rust who is responsible for the safety and handling of firearms on set, is a main focus of the investigation into the death of Hutchins, according to Santa Fe County Sheriff Aiden Mendoza. She was one of the very few people who handled the gun prior to Baldwin discharging it on set last Thursday. And we have heard so many things about Hannah Gutierrez Reed. We saw that she was an Instagram or TikTok model who was more concerned with pay pigs and getting money from simps than maybe she seemed to be about firearm safety or about her job as an armor. This is only her second job. She gave interviews about oh, how uncomfortable and how not ready she felt to be an armor. And there were safety issues with her on her first set with Nicolas Cage. That is all leading up to this and this incident right here. Uh, however, in a statement made through her attorneys, New Mexico-based lawyers Jason Bowles and Robert Gorenz, Gutierrez Reed blamed rushed conditions on the low-budget set for the tragic mishap. She also disputed rumors that the crew used live ammunition for target practice and denied responsibility for two discharges that happened previously according to Deadline. Safety is Hannah's number one priority on set, her attorneys said in a statement. Ultimately, this set would never have been compromised if live ammo were not introduced. Hannah has no idea where the live rounds came from. And we talked about that the other day. She made that statement that there was no live ammo on set. There was no live ammo on set. The sheriff said that is clearly not an accurate statement because not only was there a live round that struck and killed Helena Hutchins, but also they found a lot more on the set in their investigation. So that obviously is not a true statement. So now after the sheriff came out and said that, you see the lawyers come out and say, they're, they're tweaking the story a little bit. They're saying, we have no idea where it came from as opposed to there wasn't any on set. The attorneys went on to state the armor herself has never had an accidental discharge. However, they admitted two took place on rust that were not her fault. The first one on this set was the prop master. The second one was the stuntman after Hannah informed him his gun was hot with blanks, they said. As for the shooting that resulted in the death of Hutchins, Mendoza said during a press conference that a live round was, was recovered from the director's shoulder. In addition, investigators found 500 rounds of ammunition, including a mix of blanks, dummy rounds, and live rounds. In an affidavit, Gutierrez Reed previously told investigators there should be no live ammo on set, but given the evidence, including live ammo, Mendoza said he, was, he believes that's not an accurate statement. In their statement... Her attorneys seemed to shift blame away from the set's armor for a larger conversation about the resources she was given by producers to ensure the set was safe and up to protocol standards. 
Of course. This is what it's all about. Like, and I don't, listen, I, I wouldn't expect anything else. I wouldn't expect for someone to come out and take blame and, you know, admit culpability for this. She's trying to protect her life right now. She very well could go to prison for something. She very well could be facing an insane civil lawsuit for this that would destroy her financially for the rest of her life. So yeah, of course she's going to get lawyers. She's going to protect herself. She's going to try to pass the blame on other people. That's what any normal person would do in this situation. Hannah was hired on two positions on this film, which made it extremely difficult to focus on her job as an armorer, but they didn't reveal what the other position was. She fought for training, days to maintain weapons, and proper time to prepare for gunfire, but ultimately was overruled by production and her department. And when it comes, the idea that this person was just some bastion of safety and was just cared so much about gun safety and was right on top of things all the time, I don't know about that. I'll be honest. We have... We have some images right here. <laughs> Look at these images of Hannah Gutierrez Reed training someone how to shoot a gun. If you have any experience with weapons whatsoever, you will know that uh, this is not the way you should be training someone how to shoot a gun. Lean back as far as fucking possible. Uh, but this is the armor from Russ teaching someone how to shoot a gun. So maybe we have to take all these things about she was, took her job so seriously. She was incredible. She never had any safety violations. Maybe you should take that with a little grain of salt there. They noted the lack of safety meetings was just one of many factors that led to set being somewhat unsafe. Indeed, the morning of the shooting, Souza previously told investigators they were dealing with the fallout after camera crew members walked off set amid discord over working conditions, including safety procedures. A new crew was hired that morning. They also addressed the rumors that live ammunition made its way to set because crew members were using the weapons for target practice in their off hours for fun. Hannah and the prop master gained control over those guns and she never witnessed anyone shoot live rounds with these guns nor would she permit that. The statement reads, they were locked up every night at lunch and there's no single and there's no way a single one of them was unaccounted for or being shot by crew members. Some of your statements don't don't really jive with each other, right? You want to say that they maintain strict control over these weapons. They were never out of their sights. It can never be used for that in any way, shape, or form. Yet you're now saying, we have no idea how a live round got into that weapon. So your story doesn't make sense. It can't be both, right? You can't have absolutely no idea how this got in there, yet at the same time, have maintained the absolute strictest measures of control. There's no possible way anyone could have got their hands on that gun or done anything. Because a live round did get in there. A live round was in there. There was live ammunition found on set. So she's trying to deflect blame onto the producers, onto the working conditions. I think that there's a ton of blame for that. Honestly, there is. We have heard about the conditions on set. That was one of the first things we heard people walking off set in protest over the safety, over the fact that they had to stay an hour and a half away. So they had to drive an hour and a half both ways to get to their shitty hotels because Alec Baldwin and the production staff refused to pay for them to stay in town. Alec Baldwin, as a producer, may, at the end of the day, be found more culpable than Alec Baldwin, the man who was holding the gun when this happened. Either way, the, uh, the armor is not going down without a fight. Her lawyers are making very clear that she's putting a ton of the blame on the production members and that she has no idea how this ever could have possibly happened. What do you guys think? I want to know your thoughts. I know everyone's got a lot of different opinions on this. Uh, obviously, like I said from the beginning... I think there's a lot of blame to go around from Alec Baldwin to Hanny Gutierrez Reed, the armor, to the assistant director, Dave Halls, and of course, to the producers, which include Alec Baldwin. And the fact that the set got to this level with no strict adherence to any kind of protocol at all, sometimes Hanny Gutierrez Reed handed Alec Baldwin the gun, sometimes the assistant director did. This was a top to bottom failure, an absolute failure of safety, complete negligence in every way, shape and form. And it was only a matter of time till something like this happened on the set. Obviously, that's what the camera crew and everybody else thought when they walked out, that it would only be a matter of time until something tragic happened. And indeed, something tragic did happen. Thoughts and prayers go out to Helena Hutchins and her family for what they're doing and what they're having to deal with through this entire thing. What do you think? of the armorer putting blame on Alec Baldwin as a producer and of everything else that went down and saying, I have no idea how this ever could have happened. Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? 
check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.